Cream and crimson and silver and rose and azure and lemon and russet and gray and purple and white and pink and orange and blue. Those are the colors. Those weren't our notes, by the way. That's no. They didn't sound great, but the colors are right. Yeah. We got the harmonies on stage. Sometimes. Hi, Hi Richmond. My name is McKenna Zimmerman. I'm 20 years old, and I played Issachar and Joseph in the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat at Gateway. And I am Marla Zimmerman. I am 17 years old. I played an Ishmaelite and a Jailer in Joseph in the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat at the Gateway. <laughs> McKenna and I have been dancing for over 10 years, training at the Richmond Academy of Dance in multiple genres, such as ballet, tap, jazz, musical theater, lyrical, stage, stage, jazz, jazz, point, point, Pilates. Pilates. <laughs> Even though we both love dance, we also love theater and have been in many shows around Richmond and Vancouver, including shows at the Gateway Theater. Because we both have experience being in professional shows, we thought it'd be fun to let you know what it's like to be in a show. So when you're auditioning for a show, it's going to be very stressful probably. So you're gonna walk into a room, it's gonna be like a panel of people judging you and you're gonna have to sing a song with a pianist just by yourself. You might have to do some lines. And then after that, you're gonna go in with everyone else who's auditioning and you're gonna do a dance call. So you're gonna learn a dance combo really quickly then you're gonna have to perform it for the same panel of people judging you and you're gonna just give it your all and hope for the best and, <laughs> and although it's stressful it's a really good experience and it's yeah. so much fun when you're there and when you leave you take away so much you just go to auditions that's really just a big part of just doing theater just go into auditions try your best <laughs> sometimes you get it sometimes you don't sometimes you don't, sometimes you don't. <laughs> Once we were cast in the show, we moved on to rehearsals. Rehearsals for Joseph started with learning all of the music for the show. And that's pretty typical for musicals. So once rehearsals are starting, you're probably going to learn all of the music for the entire show, which can be very overwhelming if you do not know how to read sheet music like us. Yeah. Once we've learned the music, we moved on to choreography and staging, which it sounds like it sounds. It's choreography and staging. So once you have learned all of the music, the choreography, and the staging, and you have run the entire show in the rehearsal space, you will then move into the theater for Tech Week, the calmest, most just relaxing, joyous time of theater. It really is just lovely. McKenna, we have to be honest with them. Yes, that was incorrect. Well, that was false. Tech Week is very difficult. You were in the theater for 12 hour days. It can seem very tedious at times. It can be very tiring, but it's also very fun because you're right there on stage with your entire cast. And actually this is a good time to mention, um, so much work goes into creating theater. Yeah. So it is not just the actors. It is the lighting designer, the set designer, the director, the, director, the choreographer, the uh, assistant director, assistant director, the stage manager, stage manager, the music director. There's so many more people. There's a lot going on than you think. Mm -hmm. And they all <laughs> kind of come together during tech week. Um, so while it may seem very stressful, tedious, grueling, at frightening, times, it's bad, <laughs> um, it is really special. It's definitely a very good time to bond with everyone. Yeah, it's, it's, fun. it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. After we tech the show, there'll be at least one dress rehearsal and a couple of previews, but nothing is quite as special as opening night. On opening night, everyone is feeling all the butterflies, all the nervousness, but mostly excited to share the show with the public and lots of our family too. So now you're in the run of the show. Um, this is personally my favorite part of theater. If you're doing the show multiple times a week. Um, it just kind of becomes part of your routine as an actor. It's very fun. You're there with your cast every whatever, how many days. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really fun. It's great. Once the run of the show has come to an end, it is time for closing night. This can be a really emotional show and time for everyone. Lots of families were in the audience for our closing night, I remember. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> You've been practicing and rehearsing and performing for months on end, and then it's just over. And it was so such a part of your routine, and then the next day, it's just not. But that's all part of being in a show and being in theater, is you had a good run, and then it comes to an end. But something we actually really liked about being in Joseph was because the Gateway Theater is in Richmond. And we live in Richmond, so our commute was really nice. And that's actually an excellent segue to talk about Richmond. Richmond. <laughs> McKenna, what's your favorite place to eat in Richmond? Kisamos in Steeston, and also Richmond Sushi because it's all you can eat. Marlo, what is your favorite restaurant in Richmond? Mm, my favorite restaurant would be Gammy Sushi. Mm, delicious, yeah. delicious. McKenna, what's your favorite thing about Richmond? 
the sunsets. Marla, what is your favorite thing about Richmond? I like the sunsets too, but I also really like going to the dike. That's a good one. Yeah. McKenna, what is your favorite memory about Richmond? The Olympics in 2010. It was so cool and we got to like miss school to watch hockey and it was great. Marla, what is your favorite Richmond memory? My favorite Richmond memory would probably be the sports days at Quachina. <gasps> Those were really fun. Those were crazy. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed our little video today talking about what it's like to be in a show and some of our favorite memories about Richmond. McKenna and I both would like to thank all frontline workers during these times. We really appreciate everything you do for our community. And just to everyone out there, please stay safe, wash your hands, wear gloves and masks where they are needed, and just remember that we are all in this together. Yep, we'll be back on stage in no time. Hopefully. <laughs> See ya. Thanks. Bye.